Yeah, do I don't know why she does that now, but anyways. <laughs> I didn't even realize I didn't even realize the thing spoke to you. <laughs> it's, it's a whole new level now. Um, but just a quick intro so people can actually know who you are. Um, yep. Obviously, guys, you know myself, Joshua Conde. This is the Faith, Mind and Muscle podcast. CEO and brand owner of Gain and Burn Fitness. We've got Andrew McLaughlin, um, Andy, as we know him, and the, the, yep. the cowboy. Is it the metal cowboy? It's the metalcore cowboy. That's a core cowboy. There we go. So, yeah, um, th- throw that out there on Instagram, metalcore cowboy. So <laughs> you probably you should probably start with why, Andy? Why have you got such an interesting Instagram handle? Be a good I one. was literally going to let you do all of that because even I'm like I'm in, I'm intrigued. So yeah, tell us about yourself, man. <laughs> um, so I have been bodybuilding for probably I would say since I was fifteen. Yeah. So that's almost. 15 years yep um, i was one of those kids that like you're not allowed to join a gym until you're 16 but i snuck in when i was 15 <laughs> kind of lied about my age yeah yeah, yeah. Um, i so interesting thing is like me and yourself so me and me and josh uh we competed in the bnbf this year in the southern qualifier i competed 10 years uh, exactly 10 years ago in the Scottish qualifier when I was 19. Mm, yep. so, and I had not competed since. I yep. did that show and then kind of like reclused into the shadows yep. and kind of, yep. yeah, just kind of trained for 10 years and then decided, well, no, I was one of those guys that said every year, you know, I love training. I'm going to compete next year. Yeah. And then life happened. Yeah. I'm yep. going to compete next year. And then life happened. Yeah. And it took 10 years for me to get back on stage. Yeah. How did, um, how did that, that first one go when you were 19? I did the prep myself. So I, I actually had a really interesting uh, kind of, I had, do you know David K? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so I, uh, I kind of was not coached by David, but was like ve- as little mentoring as you could possibly imagine. He yeah. was one of my lecturers when I was at college, when I was at, when I was 19. Yeah. I've got a really funny story. I don't know if you want to hear really quick of how I actually met David. Mate, we, of course we do. We hear about the because, five-time world champion, of course. <laughs> yeah, man. I, I, honestly, I cannot make this up. I've never told him this story, but I always, when I talk about him to other people, I'm like, man, I had the funniest way of first bumping into David. Yeah. So um, when I was 18, I went to a UK BFF show. Yeah. in Dundee it was a uh, it was I think it was promoted by Harry Og so if anyone in Dundee is watching this they'll know who Harry is he's quite one of the kind of most recognizable bodybuilding figures in the area mm-hmm. so I went to his show with my personal trainer at the time watched the guys on stage and was like I need to do this I want to do this so I trained for a year and that coming to the end of like uh, that year I was you know, starting to pose, starting to get more into bodybuilding. And there was a chap in my gym called Malcolm that was kind of like teaching me how to pose properly and showing me. And now that I look back, he was a very classic guy. He liked mm. the classic poses. Yeah. It wasn't just like your mandatories. Yeah, yeah. He liked all the kind of Frank Zane stuff. Yeah. So one, one session, one kind of like posing session, he said, you need to look up a guy named David K. Now, I didn't know much about natural bodybuilding at all. I actually didn't know there was, I was young, I was naive. I didn't know that there was tested and untested. So having been to that UK BFF show, I was going to do that show, but the following year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there's me all googly eyed, like, wow, this guy's natural. This is insane. Mm. And then suddenly that opened up my eyes to the whole world of natural bodybuilding. So that was on a Sunday. Okay. The next day I had my introduction to like college and things like that, where you come in and you get introduced to your, uh, to kind of the guys that are on your course and stuff like that. And you get to meet a couple of lecturers. I kid you not. I'm sitting there now having watched the two minute posing routine the following night of David I'm sitting there and David walks in you're like no way I'm like no way and I was just like I was awestruck I was like holy I was like my that god freak me out that would actually... yeah, I need to speak to this guy um and uh 
he, he was so chill. If you've ever spoke to Dave, he's like, he's so chill. Oh, it's, it's strange. Oh, uh, but in a good way. But um, yeah. so I, I started talking to him and uh, fast forward, he what would happen is we'd have a class on like, I can't remember if it was Monday or Tuesday, but I would come in and I felt so cool. I was like sitting there eating my sweet potatoes and chicken with like one of the best bodybuilders in the world. And I was just like, <laughs> and no one else knew who he was. Yeah, 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 yeah. No one. So I, he basically kind of just, he didn't tell me what to do, but he told me if I was doing things wrong. Yeah. So if you're way off, you'd be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I remember there was like, there was these really funny circumstances where, for example, you know, if, you know, it, it, Dave would need to have a look at me to make sure I was on track. Yeah. And I always remember one time he was like, right, let's, let's see a couple of poses in this lecture room. And I hope he'd be happy with me telling people that, like, putting this on the, on the podcast. And I always remember people walking past the door. Thank and you. I was just like, this is weird. But it's okay. It's cool. It's all right. Um, but Dave was, Dave was super helpful. But um, in regards to that prep, I'm not going to lie, Josh. I didn't have a clue what I was doing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I remember going into the, into the show... I didn't carb load properly. Yep. I didn't kind of do anything with sodium. Mm. I didn't do anything with like vitamin uh, like D or anything like that or C, like B. I didn't do any vitamin kind of manipulation for yep. water. Because I can always remember there was the guy that came second, Lewis. We were talking about, you know, similar to what we did. Mm. Like we just had like kind of conversations, little snippets where we would say, you know, I did this, I did that. Of course, yeah. Um, and he was like, so he, I remember saying to him, I was just like, uh, so how, how did your prep go? And he was like, oh, this, this week's been tough. And I was like, what do you mean tough? He was like, oh, you know, I had to do some things that I've never done before in my life, like the manipulation of it. I was like, what's that? <laughs> and I remember he looked at me and he was like, you didn't do any of that? Yeah, and I right here with me. yeah it, was, <laughs> it was just, it was a bit surreal. So this time around, it was a huge eye opener because this is the first time in my life I actually ever used a coach. So that might be a good segue into another question. Yeah, yeah, this probably is. Um, but I mean, I think that's the, the big thing, though, is just um, one key thing is with myself and you is a lot of people think that, you know, when you see uh, somewhat you know successful we'll say you know we did actually play so that's good yeah um i think a lot of people do think that you know a lot of bodybuilders there is such a thing as the first time on stage always winning always taking the second that don't get me wrong there are a few out there but even still if you dig deep into their past there's a lot more that goes into it than they think um uh, like for example i know some people where yeah first time like literally first three shows all the way to almost getting their pro card basically in, in that season However, they've actually been getting ready for that moment for a good 12 years. <laughs> yeah. Like they've yeah. been, it's like you met, it's like they had a, a David K moment, but then rather than even competing then, they then like literally spent time with a coach from then all the way through. You know, they've always been around bodybuilding. So it's always been something that's been building. And like, you know, they've already made mistakes with little fake mock preps and everything. So yeah, a lot of people always think, yeah, don't, don't, don't take what you see face value as that's it simple as i think it's a train it's a trained eye as well yeah you need to know you need to know what goes into it yeah um, and then you have to appreciate that these guys like myself and you and you yeah. we've been training for years and years and years and if you do want to you know kind of get, there's the difference between stepping on stage and being good and just stepping on stage that's one thing that's opened my eye about well, this year has opened my eyes to 100 um, right. just having access to uh, a, a coach who's a pro that has a certain opinion on certain things yep. has really influenced and changed my attitude towards yep. my goals yeah and kind of being realistic as well yeah i mean um again i back so again people are not sure with you know regards to my prep as people know i did prep myself for this one however it wasn't it's different from you i had already worked with coaches um who were you know really good and helped me as well so can, can, would it be any, anyone i'd recognize so um i don't know if you know um what's called anthony cedric he actually won the bnbf southern back in 2016 um he actually won the overall then but uh, he's kind of like it's funny because he's actually pretty much left bodybuilding as well now he's um so he's a happy oh, guy with his family and everything 
Um, he still PTs as well with his business, but um, and he's got other key things he does as well now. But um, yeah, he's kind of like left that. But it was kind of similar to you where he was in my gym and um, yes. I didn't really know who he was either. But I always knew that this guy looked ridiculously shredded when he was obviously getting ready for a show. And I was just like, what's this guy doing that's different? You know, that kind of thing. So me always asking him questions kind of right. disgusting started. Yeah, that's it. I was going to ask if you approached him. It was, yeah, I pretty much approached him, basically. Um, and it was almost like it was a case like, yeah, yeah, sure, I'll do your prep. Um, I don't know if you know, um, oh, gosh, what's his name now? Uh, David Lloyd? Are these all, they, these all be guys from, like, down your end? Yeah, not just mine, but also, um, so, for example, he was actually one of the judges at our show. Um, he's a um, white guy, bald, bald head, um, and he was one of the actual BNBF judges. He got his, um, he's a pro as well there. So he was in there. I'm just trying to visualize the judging panel. Hard, I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I can't, maybe he was like on the left. Yeah. Right? But, but you, you've been coached by this guy as well. No, I wasn't even coached by him, but funny enough, my coach back then coached him to, Ooh, um, yeah, okay. in, in his, in his, in his year and all the way to where he got his pro card that year as well. So back then. Um, so yeah, he was just one of them coaches where, not really big a name however you know when you you know someone who actually does things correctly understands yeah. things and actually knows the knowledge of things he was the first person to actually like one, one of the reasons why it took so long for him to work with me is because he was actually annoying me because he always challenged me even when he was he wasn't my coach i was just like okay. just just tell me what i need to know <laughs> that kind of right, yeah no no okay fair enough that's it because he'll be like i'll be like so what are you having what are you eating he was like um and, I, and then i was telling him what i was doing i was like oh and he was like okay what are your macros i'm like What's macros? What's a macro? Yeah. Why are you asking me about macros, mate? Look, I'm telling you, you macaroni, I'm eating... macaroni, macaroni, right? <laughs> well, I'm telling you, I'm eating fish and chicken and potatoes. I'm doing it four times this time. Da 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 da. Like, yo, what's wrong? <laughs> you should be able to know. <laughs> like that. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, he wasn't having it. And even with training, he was like, "So yeah, what are you doing with training?" I was like, "Yeah, I'm just trying to do as many reps as possible and um, survive." <laughs> So can I can I ask you a question about prepping yourself? Of course, man. This because, is what it's all about. Yeah. So obviously, when you got closer to the to the show, did you ever worry that you weren't going to come in shape and do any like drastic changes or anything like 1, that, or were you quite like, calm? One thousand percent. So um, this is where I've already said I probably will be. I'll be definitely working with a coach next time, no matter what. Okay. Um, just simply because of that, that final four weeks is golden to have a coach. Not just any coach, though, someone you really trust and someone who you can just say, because I know everything with coaches, we always say, make sure you, they educate you, you learn. That's what I try to do with my clients and everything. But as yep. a competitor, in those final four weeks, like I don't even want to even know. I just want someone to just say to me, do this. And I'm just taking and, it. That's it. And not have to worry. Yeah. Like I will worry about that later if it was wrong, but I just need that because as you know yourself, there's so many things going in your head in that final four weeks. The last yep. thing you need is to be then double checking, triple checking, you know, everything. Agree. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I, I remember in the last four weeks, whenever I would do a check-in with, uh, with Andy, yeah. you, you know, you know, I'm, I'm coached by Andy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, got, I got, I they did my posing last year. So if yeah, you, know, you know what, it's funny. Instagram's a good thing like that. I was kind of like, Oh my God, Josh knows these guys. I was like, Oh, cool. Um, six degrees. Yeah. But um, I remember, like, towards the end or coming close to the, being, the the show, Andy was just like, you're fine. And I was like, I was waiting for him to tell me to, like, deduct but, calories. But, uh, like, no, you're fine. <laughs> just keep going. Just keep continue on with the plan. I'm like, yeah. we don't need to, like, make minute detailed changes. Yeah. Nope, you're fine. Yeah. Just keep it. going. Just trust me. I'm like, okay, that's this is way too, way too simple. Yeah. We'll go with it, but that, that feeds into what you're saying there. Yeah. You know, trusting and, your coach enough. Yeah. And in a weird way, that's what helped me this year because I literally just remembered stuff like that. I just tried my hardest to remember that. And just again, just really just going back to me as a coach, I know myself. I'm like, I know what I'm doing here, Josh. Don't do it. Like, don't fall for this trap. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to give you some props and some. Uh, get some feedback i had you winning i, I had you winning because i all I, I will probably get into this when we go into like details of the shows and things like that but yeah. there was that moment where i think me and you were sitting there after pre-judging and i think there was like you were you were eating yeah and uh we we're kind of i was kind of like so what are you thinking 
and we and you were like i don't know you were being really humble i think i'll get back to my i'll I'll let you finish but honestly yeah but yeah go on (laughs) yeah i know i was like i I was trying to figure out in my head and i think we very loose very quickly went over or i did anyway Hmm. i was like i it was strange because we spent so little time in a call out that i was like i thought they'd just gone nope and gave more time to other people but in my head it was between three of us it was between three of us i I was like it, it has to be because we're the only ones that got compared and none of us none, none of us got compared to other guys in other call Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, but I'm going to feed this, like, this is going to go back to what you said about prepping yourself. I was like, you looked phenomenal. And the hey. fact that you coached yourself, I was like, that's crazy. Yeah. Like, Thanks, I wish I had the patience, probably the knowledge and discipline as well to, to do that yourself and not mess it up. You know, in those last four weeks. That's that's what normally happens. But honestly, man, you touched on so many things there. But firstly, thanks. But um, mate, honestly, have have you actually? Did you have any uh, anyone do videos of the of the actual prejudging? Have you have you seen back at it yet? Because I haven't. I, look, I need to ahead, send sorry. you. I need to send you because my my wife and my friend they literally filmed all everything. And oh, mate, yeah, okay. There was actually a proper first call out, but it just went past us. I, yeah. I, I looked at so one watching back the videos i then saw it i was like oh there was a first call out <laughs> like, it was so it was so short the joke was it wasn't even um so it, it, the joke was it wasn't even that short though that's the weird thing because i got moved and this is how i knew that you right. had won because what happened was this I is the first got, time i've ever heard this yeah so first yeah time. so you you not if you hear this you're gonna go oh i get it and this is why also, too, I got it now when not just watching the, the BMBF feedback as well, but also seeing the video that my wife did there. I was uh-huh. actually moved away from you during this, the first call out symmetry. All right. And this is this. And you actually stayed in position all the way. All right. right. So um, so basically first call out. Um, and this is again, this is why. So listening to the feedback from the, the what's it called feedback from the table, uh, Vicky and um, and Guy and everything, um, they, they were mentioning how they had me and you and um, number seven, which was um, he calls himself King. <laughs> what is that? Um, yeah, the, other, yeah. the other red trunks. They had him pretty much miles ahead when we first came out. So just seeing us from the start, they had him ahead because he, he carries a lot of muscle, without doubt. He's a, he, I've got a really funny story about this guy, yeah. and I hope he doesn't mind me telling it, because I'm definitely going to tell it. <laughs> no, no, he better watch this too, man. But no, honestly, like, uh, and I remember seeing him backstage too. I, I was like, if he's in my, I was just like, whatever. But then again, before we stepped on stage, another thing, like you were saying, where you don't mess things up, I just reminded myself, it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, it's still a case of presenting and you just, you just don't know. And you never know how good you are either. So it's like, just, just don't forget about it and do the job. That's it. It's like when you're getting pumped up off stage, yeah. everything that you've done for the last, how long did you prep for in total, Josh? So it ended up to being 17, 17 weeks. Yeah, um, I, I did nine months. Yeah. I was that fat when I started my diet. I needed nine months. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so, um, and everything you've done up to that point, you yeah. forget about. And like you said there, you've now you've got to go into presentation mode. And uh, a lot of guys that I spoke to afterwards, it's like, or even because I, I didn't actually, I didn't have the time to grab some feedback from the judges. I had to hop on a train. Mate, so I, it was like, I had to go. I knew. Um, but it was like, I think a lot of, a lot of it is stage presence. Um, and that's one thing I noticed as well. I mean, I hadn't been on a stage for 10 years right. and it was weird because I walked on and I was like, I enjoyed it. I switched on. I was like, right, I'm here to get this done. That was one thing I did give myself kind of like uh, props. I was like, you, you do well when you're on stage. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, it, and that was apart in the feedback. Showed in the videos, mate. Showed it. Showed. Yeah, I, know, I noticed that myself. I was, yeah. I got a little bit teary when I saw him at the first couple of, couple of, uh, shots of myself i was like wow yeah and andy but my coach he was like i don't think i think you've got like this warped vision of yourself that you're you're not as good as you are yeah, yeah. and yeah anyway but that that's just my personality yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah the call out was messed up we're gonna get yeah. back to that yeah so yeah um i'll go back to yeah so basically what happened was just for people to know 
we all we came out numbers first so i think it was um obviously because i was 10 so i was in that first group that came out you're in the second group that came out yeah and what happened was and this is why me and you were confused we actually really quickly just went straight into that first call out they were actually ready from there and that's where I was like, oh, so, and again, this is where the judges, like what they said was when we first came out, they already had an idea of the first call out because it was right. that obvious apparently. Then after right. that first quick symmetry, you know, that we did, because remember what happened was you walked, you literally walked back and then they called you back out again for the first call out and you didn't notice. I didn't notice either. They literally right. went um, number seven, the other guy with red trunks, myself, um i think it's jake i'm trying to, i've forgotten his name now i think it was jake as well yeah. yeah then they called you as well and that was pretty much it and then last minute they called dan as well um he had like the uh, purple yeah purple trunks yeah purple yeah, trunks. Yeah. yeah so they called him into it last minute as well i didn't even know that was the call out but that was literally it mate that was actually it and that's where we actually did three rounds of symmetry and the reason for that being is because as we kept on doing it, they started noticing, because at one point it was Jake and you in the middle. Right, okay. Yeah. I need to see this video. So I was saying, because at first it was you and, 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 and I keep saying King, I hope it's his name because he said I should call him King. But anyway, it was you and King. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. It was you and King in the middle. Then they moved Jake in there. And then I got moved out. And then two rounds later, we I got moved pulled back, back in. in. Yeah, I got pushed back in. And then they ended that. And then what happened was, and this is where it confused us even more, they then called out the next uh, the next call out, which was actually, there was actually a second and third call out. <laughs> that was the other weird thing as well, watching the video. I'm like, how did this happen? <laughs> I, but it obviously makes, it makes sense when you look back at it. They were yeah. just trying to figure out where to place everyone else around yeah. us. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, it's, we've got to take, we've got to take a lot from that. We are, we did well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And big, we've obviously got, we've got physiques and structures that can be, identified as seen as being good straight away that quickly yeah. which is always a good thing because you do only get a certain amount of time on stage yeah yeah and it's over in a blink of an eye so yeah. that's good for us to know exactly king is a king is a monster by the way yeah yeah mate, and he's got I, I, I keep talking to him and i'm just like mate if he dials in mate He's, I, I followed him on Instagram, and yeah. he's not he's not only like a big dude, he is strong. I mean, that's what I'm like, saying. He's got all the qualities. I mean, I mean, I'm sure he doesn't mind me saying, but the only thing is if he can get the legs up as well, that that that's for an off-season, obviously, but that'll be unstoppable. But if he dials in for even now, you know, like I had I had it was uh, in my head, I was a bit the whole call out situation threw me. Yeah, but in my head, I was like, it was between us. It's been yeah. you, me, and King. Same, same. Um, but unfortunately, in finals, he seemed to fade as well. Right. Um, and this is where, again, like I said, I learned my lesson because, mate, I looked so hard in finals, man. Little did I know, eating all that food was needed. And I always remember because, like, I, well, that goes back to the conversation. I remember looking at you and I was like, bro, you got done. <laughs> I was like, I was looking at you like, my guy, I don't think you could eat any quicker. I was like, wow, you are hungry. <laughs> and, the, and the joke was because I was just like, I know there was something wrong here because I was like, that, I look flat. I don't know why. Okay. Um, and then the problem, until we stepped on stage, all, all that food, I then felt very different. Like I was like, okay, I'm full to the brim now. And you I can feel bad. that. Yeah. Yeah. I felt, and I felt like the muscles were pushing through. However, in my head still, I'll look in the mirror. I was checking in the mirror in the toilets every five minutes. I was like, oh, I don't know. I think I've lost lines though. But literally, as soon as I did my routine and watching back at it now, night and day, like literally the lines popped even more, everything. It was crazy. I've seen a lot more pictures of you than I have of myself. And man, I got to give you it. Like, I love your physique. And oh, to make it even better, like you, I wanted to ask you like, about you competing in the past. Now, I've obviously followed you on Instagram and I've seen that you've done physique as well, or you've yeah. done it at some point. It was the last time you competed, 2017. Yeah, men's physique, yeah. That was the last I've time. I've done my homework. Yeah, I've done my homework. <laughs> um, so seeing the, the transition and the changes you've made since then, like, I can appreciate that. Right. Um, and man, you, again, you just look awesome. And I think, again, Depending on what time the photos I've seen were taken, mm. you know, you, you look spot on, man. Yeah, it, like, it's, mo spot it's most on. likely going to be that um, the night show because honestly, that was a it was complete night and day. 
Um, but yeah, we'll touch on that as well because honestly, and there's a reason why, again, 100%, I keep telling people, you were the winner, all right? Because I, and this is something as well that Vicky just said right off the bat as well in, the, in her, in the, in the, um, um, in the video, um, what's called feedback from the table, which is I had, I had the lines, you know, and everything that, that really shows, which obviously mm -hmm. would look even better when obviously I do add on more muscle, which is what is needed and everything. But your structure, mate, it is pretty ridiculous. I, you know, I think the other thing was like, um, and I think you were having problems with the tan as well, because that oh, didn't help okay. you. That didn't help uh, you because your back uh, is actually way crazy than a lot of people. Like my lower back went missing. Uh, it's something so, I need to fix. But yours. I wanna, I, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna just bump in here. I am so sorry, dear. Yeah. See, trying to apply that tan on your own it is a nightmare. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I wanna actually give a shout out to everyone who helped me reapply my tan um in between pre-judging and the finals again i saw that sure. yeah you needed that there, man. Was so oh. many, there was a guy there was a chap that uh the guy the coach of tom did you bump into tom tom reese yeah yeah, yeah, so yeah. he was like he was the guy that was like ridiculously alex. lean yeah yeah alex yeah, yeah sorry yeah. alex alex the coach I know, yeah. I know alex i said that like i didn't know who he was i know he's that he came into the bathroom and i want to i want to say thank you if he ends up watching this yeah and um, he was like I'll give you a hand. I can see that you, you're struggling. And I was just like, yeah, dude, you got to help me out. Um, like, because I went down to London on my own yeah, and did the, all of it myself. And anyone who's ever traveled a great distance to do a bodybuilding show or even abroad, yeah, um, having to pack all the food. Oh my God, dude, it's so stressful. And this is where I commend you, man, because it's, oh. it, I've seen people crumble going to stages, you know, going to on stage by themselves on their own because they're like, they felt alone, no one in the crowd for them as well, that kind of stuff. Um, and just things like you said there, I mean, the NBF, I mean, honestly, the run is amazing. It's a great, but to, to apply that tan by yourself, that is. <laughs> I'll tell know. you, so I stayed with my, my, one of my, one of my friends is a, is a police officer down in London. Yeah. And uh, he let me stay with him. And the night before, um, he helped me put on most of it. Yeah. But I think what it was, what, now I didn't, I have, now keep in mind, I haven't been on stage in 10 years. Yeah, it's been, yeah. So putting fake tan on my face, that was the thing that made it look horrendous. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. apparently having spoke to other pros, you're supposed to just put fake tan with a little bit of moisturizer yeah. and just like apply it gently. No, yeah. Muggins here was like spraying it on his face and like proper going for it. So... Again, I learned a lot from just being able, like the the aesthetic side of bodybuilding, like taking care of the tan. Yeah, yeah. And um, I learned a lot from that. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I think next time when I get on stage, like you said there, just the, having the tan perfect will definitely, and it can always make your physique look a hundred times better. Yeah, and you're the only one in our lineup that actually had hamstrings really popping, and that's with a dodgy tan as well. So, Josh, how do you find? See when you're posing. Yeah. How do you find being able to hold your hamstrings? Because that is the one thing I suck at. I suck right. at it. Hands down with me as well. I mean, and plus, even for me, the annoying thing as well is, um, and this is the other thing where I definitely those last four weeks were terrible because I had to change my pose so many times for the back because okay. I was like, it's weird. In the off season, the past three years, I was nailing my back pose easy in regards to be able to have that hamstring and everything. But then all of a sudden, in that last four weeks, I just couldn't figure it out. I, I was trying different ones, legs together, should I have them further apart? And only funny again, involving the man himself, David Kay, I saw a picture of David's uh, literally a week out. And I went for his classic, you know, trying to get the knee, you know, literally a wider stance, knee out. But I just couldn't learn it in time. But it definitely did help. But how much po how much posing sorry how much posing did you do like in the lead up to the show did you do it every day so um literally it was like three four times a week until four weeks out where a good friend of mine michelle was just like all right it's time for every morning rounds like literally hold it for for 20 to 30 seconds first time you know literally three rounds of that first thing in the morning so literally after i saw that four weeks it was every morning i would literally wake up have a sip, have a few sips of water, or whatever, just to wake up and everything. Then it was straight trunks on, front of the camera, and then trying to hold each each one basically for thirty seconds, so to at least get used to that, you know. And then after that, 
after that was then just doing the normal one just for like five, 10 seconds as well. Yeah. Um, but the annoying thing was uh, like, I'll just do the video basically. But then watching back on it sometimes, again, the back one, I'll have to go back and try and do the back again. I was like, oh man, it's taking a yeah, that, it got annoying. Do you think that helped with your condition? I think it helped. Like- I think it helped with condition, but also it just helped with holding the, the darn pose because as you know, the amount of times where you can literally think it's switched on, you look no, down not. and you're like, uh, what happened? <laughs> I do that with my biceps. And I, I noticed it in the video because Alex, the chap we were talking about, he yeah. was so nice enough to send me. Uh, he actually filmed my routine. Yeah. I can't thank, I can't thank him enough for that. He did, was and, did mine uh, too. I was like, wow, thanks, man. Yeah. There's a couple There's a couple of shots where like you can't, and you don't really want to do that. You're told not to. It doesn't look great. Mm. But you know, like when you, when you do like, for example, if I do a front double, yeah. I always look at my arms when I do it. You know, like, to, and yeah. I'm like, if you stop doing that, it's not, it doesn't look good on stage. It doesn't yeah. look good to the judges. Yeah, yeah. But sometimes you need to visually check just for, like, peace of mind that is switched on. Yeah. And again, this is where, like, hands down, we were all, it was the nerves. Like, even for me and you, it's been a while, but also, like, for some, it was their first time. It was just, it was just clear nerves. And this is where, like I said, in the video, it was quite clear. Like, even though you didn't know it was the first call out, <laughs> we, we mm-hmm. all didn't know. Uh, you changed for me it was like in the muscularity round i changed because i realized i think i'm in i'm in i've I've actually in the top five here (laughs) um and i I got more confident but for you you literally switched on from that first call out you uh, like they called your number and you just walked up and you literally did this i don't know if you've seen it yet but you literally did this you walked out and you looked up and you're like i'm here like i'm here to do this kind of thing like that's what i can and you changed there um, well, you know what? I'm going to be. I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to go back to something you just said there. And you're talking about nerves. Yeah. When I genuinely go back to it, like go back to the experience, yeah. there is no point where I was nervous. This is what like shocks me in my own head. Yeah. I've been away for ten years, and as soon as like you said there, that makes complete sense. Yeah. Because when I went out, I was like, it's game time. Yeah. Um, but the only uh, it goes go it kind of feeds back to King. Yeah. King had this, and I don't know if you noticed this. Like, there's. People that have personalities backstage that you kind of you observe. I know everybody... right, exactly what you're saying. Yeah. And yeah. It makes you paranoid. It makes you paranoid. Hey, sometimes. he told me his name was King. That already paranoid. That already freaked me out. No. <laughs> this is a perfect segue into the conversation that well, what I said I was the story. So I remember seeing King and I was like, what? Oh, this guy is a gorilla. He is right. huge. Yeah. He's going to dominate. He's going to dominate. He had the look. Um, he had this yeah. at eyes as well backstage. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and then he was just talking so confident. I was like, who is this guy? Oh, 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 please, let, me, let me jump in. Let me jump in. So I remember just before the final, the, the nighttime show, I was walking into the bathroom. And uh, you know the bathroom that they had for backstage. Yeah. So walked in and King was walking out. And he was like, he, he was obviously very ready for the show. He was like hyped up. He was real, and you know what? I admire that. Guys that can be that confident. I mean, I can't pull that off. Yeah. And uh, he was like, I'm sitting in my room, and there's guys that say that they're only going to do this once. I love bodybuilding. I'm going to be doing this for life. Yeah. I'm definitely not coming back for another qualifier. And I was like, walked over to the urinal and he was still talking to me. And I was like, I was like, oh, okay. I was like, I was like, cool. Huh? And he was like, man, you better be in this for life as well. I was like, I like bodybuilding. Okay. Whilst I'm standing at the urinal. <laughs> He's just, I, I commend him, man, because he obviously loves bodybuilding. Hey, and you he can tell too, training. because in his posing, um, you can see there's a lot of art to it as well. Like he actually can pose. Um, okay. but I think again, he's, his thing was like, and again, I'm not trying to go at him or anything, but I can, you can kind of tell he, in his head, I know if he had the conditioning he wanted, he, he would be more confident it. with them because he was doing the looking at the body parts as well when posing more than everyone, which was, right. which was quite evident as well. And that's because when you're not really on enough. Like, for example, with me, even though I knew I wasn't 100 percent, I still knew I was enough to know that there was lines in my legs, you know, that kind yeah. of stuff. You know, yeah. I knew my hamstrings weren't 100 percent, but I knew there was enough to kind of give the judges a bit of something as long as I pose well enough, you know. Because it became it, it did, like keep in mind as well. I, I, hadn't, I, I keep saying I've not been in the game for 10 years. I really yeah. haven't. Yeah, yeah. And I haven't had much 
I, like, I, I had had one shoe under my belt when I was 19. Yeah, yeah. So, like, again, I'd kind of gone through and, had, and internalized and had a little conversation up here with myself going, I think we are top three. Yeah. But, again, the type of physique that the BMBF likes, they want that muscularity there. 100%, yeah. So I think you've spoke about it quite quite a lot on your Instagram, how it's like if you do want to get on stage, you need to be mindful and you need to be realistic that if you want to place, yeah. you're going to have to have a muscular physique. Yeah. Yeah. Um, or else you're kind of just wasting your time. Well, not wasting your time, but it just depends yeah. on who else shows up on the day. Yeah, yeah. but and like I said, I'm the perfect example. Like I literally have gone through the stages. My first show yeah. in 2015, I just wanted to get on stage. All right. Yeah. So I was a winner already. I made it to the stage. You know, that was the main thing. So I didn't How much did you weigh? How much did you um, weigh for sure? Hey, that's the thing. The first show, I think I was, I think I was 86, 87. Oh, you were heavy. That was you it. were really heavy. I was heavy, but I, again, men's physique. I don't know how my legs were conditioned. I don't even remember. Right. I probably okay. weren't <laughs> that much. You know, all it was, I had abs and it looked all right. That was the main thing. Right. Um, Structure wasn't really there. Again, not much shape to it because obviously I now learned, especially for men's physique, you gotta have that that upper body shape. Then you know, like obviously, that. and then yeah. the shoulders as well gotta be crazy, or, you know, that kind of thing. Shoulder to width, rate, um, waist ratio, all that kind of stuff. But again, I didn't know all of that. I just wanted to get on a stage, and I got on there. Uh, Twenty seventeen taught me the first part of you gotta look the part. <laughs> you know, if you want a place, you gotta look the part. And this was in physique as well yeah still physique oh. and i was just under the illusion of like i somehow fitted the category but I, I didn't even though my coach told me back then like what federation was it uh it was ukbf oh, okay. still ukbf oh right okay yeah, right, okay yeah. because back okay. then obviously i don't know what's happening to them now i think they're done mate honestly but back then um ukbf was pretty much the main thing for you for um for for men's physique and stuff like that because they were still with ifbb as well back then um so there was no two bros, all that kind of stuff. Um, I didn't even think I knew about UK DFBA men's physique back then. So yeah, yeah it's pretty much the only It's thing amazing there. how little, like how like you talk about that small pond syndrome. Yeah. It's like there is so much going on that if you do kind of if you're not aware of everything else, it just passes you by. Yeah, yeah. And it's so many, and now even there's even way more federations. So mate. many federations. I've lost track now, mate. Honestly, lost track. Um which I was going to get onto as well, because you've done another competition since our one as well. That's uh, a, you, you're yeah. a pretty good host, my friend. That was a great segue. We'll get onto that. We'll get onto that as well. But yeah. um, just really just finish my point. It's again, just like, which was what I've been talking about a lot too, because unfortunately, I think, I, I, no, I think I've been, I've been seeing it. Um, even guys in our show, a lot of people have taken it the wrong way in regards to the what happened, in regards to not placing or things not going their way. Really? And I just feel like they need to like make sure they're not making some drastic decisions here. Josh, can I ask a little can I ask a little bit more about that? Because like yeah. I've been I haven't paid attention. If you don't want to name names, what we're just no, I mean I can't name happy. names or anything, but basically like it does feel like and I know some people are like basically saying they're done, not doing that again, like ever. Like, right. Mate, there was even the guy who didn't show up for finals. What was that all about? Yeah, someone disappeared. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. I now know who he looks like because I've seen the video, but honestly, you know, Joe, Joe, it's funny, right? When we were backstage really quick. I can remember the uh, stage attendant being like, does anyone remember what he looks like? And everyone was like, no. And I said, I don't think we need to say anything else. <laughs> no one remembers what he looks like. Forget about it. Right, because we were like, wait a minute, there's 11 of us, right? Was it 10? Like, well, how many of us are there? Like, it literally just, it was such a weird evening. And again, this is where people don't understand. As competitors, especially with the way how quickly, how smooth BNBF run, it yeah. just went like, I know it felt like when we were when we were on stage posing, it felt like forever. But yeah. apart from that, everything just went by just just fast, like real fast, mate. It was, it, you know. I people, love I I love the like how much care they give and attention they give to the actual compares. I'm again shout out to the BNBF. Yeah. Like was it Lizzie backstage? She was awesome, you know. She, yeah, she, it was like even the guys administering the tan and the glaze. Oh, mate, 100%, yeah. oh man, if we like those guys giving up their time to help out, that makes us feel so much better. It's yeah. so let like, other stress. competitors doing that, you yeah. know. That's what I'm like, saying. Like it's crazy. Even even just having the the pump because it doesn't always happen. There's not always stuff to get pumped up with. Yeah, you know what hey, I mean. And having weights. that stuff, proper yeah, weights. like attention. The attention to detail and stuff like that. Yeah. That was funny, actually, because I always remember 
well, back to the show, there was that little room that everyone was crammed into. There was yeah. just enough space. Yeah. But I managed to sneak into, there was a little room, like right next to the, the, the room that everyone was in. And I snuck in and had all the space I could possibly want. And I was like, I'm not telling anyone else about this room. Yeah. And maybe that's why I won. You little sneak. I had my, my own personal pump up room. You that's just why needed I won. that. You just needed yeah. that. But no, um, but no, 100%. Again, just touching back to that, it's like, yeah, you know, it's if you really are like, like if your goal is like you really want to do well in bodybuilding, then it, there is a lot of work to it. Um, yeah. And you got. And, and I think it's like, you know, like you said, especially, it's not even just BMBF. I mean, pretty much with all natural bodybuilding shows now, they do, they don't want just the, the most, they don't want the just condition. They want, did, they, did you see the guy that won the overall of the Midlands, by the way? Mate. Theo. Was it Theo? Theo, yeah. I already, oh. and Theo, and he's been around a while, but he's nailing it this year, mate. I had to sit down. I was like, I sat down and was like, Mate, what? Do, you, I was like what? do you just see the heavyweights? Forget the forget the overall. Did you just see the heavyweight lineup? <laughs> I had I believe it or not, I'm I'm will be a heavyweight and I am not I am very fearful. I'm like, if I've got to stand next to these guys, I'm gonna be like Mate, right. Andy, Andy, there's a reason why I'm still talking to you because I know <laughs> that you're gonna be having battles in the future, but also. I'm in your shoes, mate. There's no way I'm going below 80 kg. It's not happening. I was, I was literally about to follow up this. With what weight are you? What weight are you going to go into? Are you going to yeah. be heavyweight as well? It has to be. Has to be. Because oh, I can't, dude. I can't get any smaller. That's not. That's going to be so cool because I'm going to eventually bump into you again. Yeah. Which is going to be 100 awesome. 100 awesome. mate. Awesome. It's gonna, it's gonna happen. Um. But anyway, Good. before we go completely off track, I do want to talk about your other show, which you did. Yeah. I think it was two weeks after, wasn't it? Yeah, oh, so, <laughs> uh, it was on the 7th of August. Yeah. So um, I was actually meant to go and do the NPA. Something happened with my work. I just, it was just, the, 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 my uh, schedule just conflicted too much. Yep. So I kind of felt a bit gutted about not doing that show. So I was kind of just looking around, yep. as you do. And I came across this new uh, IABFA show down in Skegness. Yep. So... We drove down um, and we did the novice category there, yep. won the novice category. Well done, man. And Love then it. we did, uh, a, and I mean this in a, no disrespect to anyone, you could go in at two, you could go in two categories. I love those though. I love those. <laughs> and uh, I, I was like, you know what? I'm going to just do the physique one or whatever they call it. Yeah. But it's the board shorts. Yeah. 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 And I went, I'm not going to lie, Josh, I had the best time posing on stage in the That's physique fun, stuff because it's just it's just so much uh, you don't have to worry about the legs it's so much easier <laughs> well, there's that too i suppose but um but yeah so i ended up winning you look that good, as though. well you look good yeah i did i mean I, my tan was a lot but we had a little bit of a malfunction because i used a different tan for that mm. show it just seems i have really bad luck when it comes to tan but this time I went down with my girlfriend. My girlfriend helped me. So that was, that was lovely. She ah, was look, a big stress. Awesome, like she, she took a lot off my shoulders. Um, but yeah, I came first in that. Came first in the novice. The really interesting thing was the guy that... He, there was a younger guy called Danny that came second in the classic physique category. I beat him in the physique category. So... Part of me looking back yeah, kind of wishes that I had done classic physique. Yeah, class, yeah classic trunks <laughs> as well. Yeah, but I didn't, I didn't have classic yeah, trunks. Yeah, but yeah. again, I, I'm not, I'm, I'm a bodybuilder. I'm, I'll always uh, go for the posing trunks. I'll always step on stage in those categories. But it was nice to experience the physique. It is yeah. a lot more calm. Yeah. You don't feel as, uh, there was no, no, maybe I didn't take it as seriously. I shouldn't say that. Yeah. But it did. No, no, no. It, it just means you had fun with it, and you know that's it. You know. Yeah. Um, but that was good, and it was outdoors. The yeah, that was, was outdoors the other as well. So the yeah, guys, check was, out the pictures. It was it's quite cool stuff, man. The weather was gorgeous. It was the IBFA uh, Ernie Taylor and Trevor Crouch Classic. It's yeah. a brand new show. Yeah. And um, it was fantastic. Really, really good. Um, and posing in the sun. It makes your physique look a particular way. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I, I looked really good, considering it was, you know, two weeks after or a week after the BF. Oh, yeah, yeah, two weeks after the BF. Yeah. 
but I'm guessing the light, the the sun lighting hitting with the tan seemed to work as well. But no, you look hundred yeah. percent better. You look way sharper as well. That yeah, was it was like it was that B watch, B watch syndrome, frozen <laughs> you know, in the sun. That's what it was. The hassle. Anyway. But no, no. Um, so it, with that federation, is it tested or what are they doing with that? That's one? Un, that was untested. Untested. Because I was about to say, untested. I saw some of the other categories. I was like, mm. <laughs> yeah. there was a chap. Uh, yeah, I know. There was a chap <laughs> called Don. I almost uh, we're <laughs> really funny side note. I ended up almost hitting the guy who won the overall with my car, which is hilarious. I oh, like his girlfriend like, had to be like, oh, like I almost took him out with my car. It was hilarious. But his name's Don, and uh, he's got a, he's a beast. I saw I saw the video. I saw won the overall of that show. He's a he's ah, he got, yeah, mind he got a very similar, very similar kind of like uh, attitude and personality to King. Yeah, he was like very much like heat seeking. Was there to do the job. Job done. Yeah. Overall. Yeah. 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 And and this is something as well. I'm gonna we're gonna to touch on as well because I think mentality is another key thing to all of this. Um, uh, because like for me, one of the biggest things I learned was, um, and in a weird way, it's almost like, you know, I wish I could have fast tracked this a bit better, but you know, me placing, you know, in our show, that's what I've been working for for the past four years. I'm now, I'm just wondering, like, and this is why I'm so excited for the next one, because now I'm actually thinking of, I want more, you know, yep. what kind of, what, what am I going to bring, you know, when, when you're thinking like that? And I think that's where people like the dot, like you were saying, is it dumb or dot, like what his name was, like people who, people like Theo as well, like, I, you know, I, I talk with him a few times just on, on Messenger, just a few things, but you can kind of tell there's just a different kind of mentality to them, you know, like it's, it's not the same, like. I don't know if you know our QE, um, the the young junior um, who uh, he was 2019 British junior champion on BNBF. I know you've not okay. really fully been into bodybuilding, but um, he's he's going to be competing tomorrow, so it should be good okay. to see him. Yeah, he's going to do it in Scottish, so I predict. Oh, he's taking, I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go and watch. I'm gonna go and watch. 100. My money's on. He's taking the overall. QE's taking the overall. He's gonna win um, the overall there. Because he just has that again. It's, he talks different. <laughs> it's just, it's just, it's very different when he, when you know these when you talk to kind of champions. It's like we say with David K as well. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. the guy is so like honestly. I sometimes don't know if he even remembers who I am. But now I've no way he'll be like, "How are you doing, man? You're right, Josh." I'm like, like he switches on. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, how do you remember me? Like the only reason why he, last time he saw me was with my client in 2019. But yeah, he still remembered me. And he was complete. George, what's, what's the guy's name? What's the guy's name? Um, so uh, QE. So uh, literally, you should just put um, Q U E E. Uh huh. Yeah, it should come up. I am QE. Yeah. All right. Oh Jesus. Yeah. Right. I see. I see who you're. Yeah. 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 He's um. Is he, where, Vicky where is Colchester. he based? Where Vicky, is he from? He's in Wales, I believe. I think he's in Wales. Fair. That's a bit of a journey. I, I always get this wrong. Uh, I think he's in Wales, yeah. But um, yeah, Vicky coaches him as well. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. And um, people forget, and this is why like, I'm so excited to see him come back, but he actually beat Chris McCready in 2019. Oh, that's <laughs> juicy. Yeah. So people Ooh. always talk, people talk about Chris McCready, obviously what he did last year, which was unreal. But yeah. the fire he got from that was thanks to Kiwi. <laughs> in regards to because he took second at the british final in 2019 and i know that put a big fire in chris's belly 100 percent. i love i love this side of things you know like the juicy kind of like uh rivalries that there's can so grow many connections yeah. people like people don't need, need to understand that like, there's a lot to that's why we say you look at a champion there's so much to it that you don't know and you'd be surprised how much of it as well is something that you can also use yourself if obviously yeah. you have that right mindset and that's what I'm getting at, really, in regards to, you know, I'm talking like I took second place. And in that split second, I'm not going to lie, Andy, when he when he was when Dave was about to call one of our names, I was like, mm-hmm. even though I knew I already got what I wanted, I was like, it better not be my name. <laughs> it better be oh, yours. Yeah. It better be yours. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. I know. But and I, and I was looking I didn't, you didn't even know this. I was looking at you while he was about Where to say because really? I knew it was between me and you now, because now as you know, as, okay. King's going to think I'm talking so much smack about him, right? Yeah. But because I remember when they called, what, what did, where did King place? Was it fourth? Yeah, it came fourth. It came fourth. And that's why I knew, fourth. okay, it's between me and you. Because again, yeah, I, I had him way higher. I had him way higher too. Um, so when, although, when they called the, out his... The guy who came ahead. third threw me off. 
And but then watching back the video, I now know why he came third. He has got some crazy upper body muscle too. Like he does this crab most muscular. He looked like a Dr. Jekyll, like like a Mr. Hyde, Dr. Jekyll thing. Like he literally just morphed into another monster. <laughs> Is this the guy that had his coach with him backstage? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He just doesn't yeah. know. His posing just wasn't on point. But yeah, I, I remember he had a couple. I remember. I mean this. There was like a few things I right that I kind of like picked up on stage. Right, yeah. was when they were doing when we were doing the free pose, like the the pose down. Yeah. It was like me and you just bouncing off each other. Yeah. Yeah. But then I noticed him, and I was like, he's doing some weird poses. Yeah. So I, I I was like, he was yeah, I'm like, just gonna. I was yeah. going to chill with Josh. Yeah. I think it's com- it was completely new to him. But again, if he had like some real proposing done, like, mate, he was dangerous. Like, yeah. Um, because well, yeah, he, clear- he carried some muscle too. He carried some muscle. Yeah. Yeah. Because King, I remember when they announced King's name, I was like, that's an interesting one. Yeah. I'm like, right. Okay. That opens up a few doors for a few other people. Yeah. And that's why um, he came in. Because for me, I had Jake and King, like, if it was going to, I, I was getting confident it was me and you, but then I was like, but Jake and King, I think are going to shake it up though. But then when they already put them at fifth and fourth, I was like, oh, okay. So because I remember, I remember, I, I shared a, I shared a, a dressing room with Jake, yeah. really nice guy by the way. Jake yeah. was a super super nice dude, yeah. um, and uh, I, I, I was we we had a discussion and I explained to him my theory on. You know, there were certain people that weren't compared to other folk. Yeah. And you need to see it like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like me, you, and King weren't compared to certain other people. And that says a lot, yeah. you know? So he was like, right, okay. And then when I watched Jake pose on some of the videos, I was like, man, Jake's got a really good, really nice physique. You know what I mean? It's like, like the rest of us, all of us had like areas that needed to be improved. Of course, we all do, yeah. But yeah. Jake, I, I remember watching Jake and there was some really good poses, like he's got a really good front lat spread. Yeah. yeah. And I was just like, this guy, is, if he keeps going with it, he'll be a fantastic, well, he is a fantastic bodybuilder. Oh, 100%, again, 100%. And this is why I also like um, seeing what happens after when people do novice, because you can, it usually does lead to um, you shaking things up in the open. I 100% believe a lot of us in that lineup, if we are looking to continue, are gonna we're gonna make some noise in the open without doubt. Yeah, it's gonna happen. That's when I actually had this conversation. I mentioned the chap called Harry Og. Um, I jumped up to his shop just to buy some pre, and we were talking about how there's a lot of guys that have taken this year completely off, hmm. and I refer to them. I always use this term: sleeping giants. Yep. Yep. And there's these guys that have been quietly training well, and, yeah. in an yeah. off season that are going to appear next year. Yeah. And it's funny you should mention Chris McCready because he's been doing exactly that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Killing, throwing around 300 kilogram deadlifts. Yeah, for fun now. And then, <laughs> and then the, but that's like me and you coming out of a novice category. These are going to be the guys we go up on. Maybe not Chris McCready, but these yeah. guys that, have, that are already well established in weight categories that we are going to have to step up yeah. and compete with and this and this yeah. is like i said like um i don't know what you're like I, actually i need to get onto that in a second because i don't know what your plans are um yeah. like obviously i um believe you know mine everybody knows mine i've done enough, enough talk on that there um but like for me 100 percent, it's i am really like my goal now is to make sure i really do make that noise when i do next time step on stage like yeah. as we just discussed now heavyweight is no joke like it's yeah. never been a joke like usually uh, whoever wins a heavyweight class in a qualifier most likely Usually, takes the overall. Yeah. Most likely takes the overall. Um, yeah. You might have some amazing, some freakish lightweights and middleweights, um, but usually it's the heavyweight. Um, so that I, just shows again, you know, what we're fo- walking into basically there. I I mean, due to like for me personally, my goals going forward. Um, at the moment, I have two final qualifications. Yeah. Um, and when I think about it, I'm on the same track. I'm on the same kind of like wavelength as yourself, Josh. I can see these guys that we're going to be going up against next year. And I want to make sure I'm big enough, muscularity wise, and that I feel confident enough to stand on stage with these guys as well. So it just, it just so happens that there's, a, there's an employment opportunity coming up that might mean I might have to skip 
the finals mm. for the BNBF. So I match. might just start my off season now. I don't. You, I, I know you've been bit, saying bits and bobs about what you're going to do. Be, yeah. I'm one of your followers now, man. I love it. I love it. Right, I love your stuff. Too, right? <laughs> yeah, I love your stuff. Um, but I think I'm probably going to jump into my off season now. Yeah. Just in preparation because I think next year. I mean, I'd love to come back down to your your part of the the country and lay the smackdown on on you again. Joking. But uh, <laughs> but, um, <laughs> uh, but I think I'll probably aim for the Scottish qualifier. It'll yep. be a thousand times easier. Yep. yep. And it also means that I, I can avoid you. <laughs> yeah, well, I can route. avoid you all costs. Oh, so. right, right. Well, I mean, the good, the good thing for me is um, for my area, my side of the, the, the country or whatever you want to call it, yeah. um, it, I think we've done the hardest part because it's usually the novice that's the hardest <laughs> for the Southern qualifier, funny enough. Yeah. So, um, yeah, as, as we noticed with all the other classes, so, uh, well, me and you were like, what's going on here? Is everybody doing novice? <laughs> I know, right? There's so many people in our class, I know. Like, don't get me wrong, though, the, 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 the two heavyweights in our, in our qualifier were still immense. Um, do, you know what's, do you know what's funny, right? Yeah. So I was the first one there on the day. Yeah. So I walked in, I was the very first competitor to go in. And then, was it John? Is that the guy that ended yeah. up winning the overall? Yeah. John. Yeah. He was second. He came in with his girlfriend. And he sat right beside me. And uh, I think by the, it was funny because we were the first two competitors there. And then at the end of the overall, he was in the middle and I was like on his left. I just thought it was really poetic that it was kind of like One right two. at the end, we were getting compared. And then right at the start, we were sitting sitting next to each other. But uh, yeah, he, I didn't really get to speak to John a lot, but he seemed like a really nice guy. Cool guy too, so. yeah. 100%, yeah. He's, yeah. Um, again, similar, funny enough. He had... Um, he it was a, he called it redemption for him because he took um 12th place i think it was i think he he basically didn't place basically last time he did this qualifier in 20 oh, wow. i think it's 20 something I, I i might be corrected but it's a bit like for him it's been a bit different he's had that topsy turvy where he's had the success like he took right. he's won mpa overall before um oh. he um he'd already won uh, a bmbf qualifier as well but not overall but just won the class He's gone to British finals as well, um, okay. but um, obviously his last showing, uh, yeah, he yeah didn't place. And then I think he had a four-year layoff. I think it's 2017 as well for him. Um, so yeah, coming back this year has been like a big thing for him as well. But again, it's just well, like that work. Congratulations. Congratulations to him. He was really phenomenal. Probably the best hanging hamstrings you're going to see in a side Oh, post. yeah. Yeah. Like that, he... how... That's scary. Did you way. watch? Did you watch the overall, Josh, or did you? Did you I, I watched it. Yeah, I watched it on the Facebook thing. Yeah, yeah, I watched it, mate. I, well, mate. Of course, I was gonna watch it, mate. It was yeah. um, some really freakish. Like he, he, John's got the hamstring, and then you got the junior. What? Did you see it? Yeah, you got the best wheels. The guy that won best wheels. How? how? <laughs> and he's in my what? ends as well. He goes king somewhere as well. I've never seen him before, but I went to get drug tested, right? And he was standing outside the room. And you're like, and I remember looking at his legs, like, what on earth are those? Mate, I was like, all he needs to do is to get, he just needs to get ditched the classic posing trunks, and he's gonna even scare more people, right? I was like, I did like that he wore his glasses. It gave him like this unique kind of retro look. No, no, like, the glasses oh, help, but but the trunks he needs to change. <laughs> oh, because he was wearing classic trunks. Yeah, 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 yeah. he was. Yeah, yeah. But, no, the glasses that helps with the look. But honestly, that guy is another dangerous junior. Like, yeah, he trains at Kings, doesn't he? Yeah, uh, Kings Mitchum. So it's the one I don't go to much. But again, it's just like he's in. Is obviously he's in London. But yeah, hey, if I was, guys, seeing, I'm glad right. I wasn't watching that when I was prepping. Like trying to see that every day. <laughs> can, you, can you imagine? Yeah, was throw say, me off big time, mate. Just a quick, quick, quick question: Where is it you train, Josh? Well, what gym is it you so, train out? Because of my weird life at the moment, which is I pretty much lived in South London most of my life, but now I've moved all the way to North. Um, now I'm married right. with my wife. Um, I still cling on to cling on to South because I still kind of go there for my PTing, my one-to-one PT sessions. Um, just simply yep. because I still got enough clients there, no need to move them, all that stuff. So at the moment, I found a good gym in Genesis, which is about thirty minutes from me here. Right. Where I'm at. So it's called the it's called the Bulldog Gym, Genesis Gym. Um, it's uh -huh. mainly powerlifting, but you also have some good bodybuilders in there as well. 
Okay. Uh, funny enough, the guy who won the middleweights in our qualifier, he also sometimes go to Genesis as well, which was the other time I'd seen him, which was interesting. Uh, him, the guy called him. Um, right. So yeah. Oh, he, I know. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah, the guy. Yeah, yeah. He was in your. Um, he was in the overall with you. Um, but yeah, it's a really good gym, Genesis. And then also, what I do is because I am absolutely emotionally attached to the pendulum squat now. I have mm-hmm. to go to Kings in Croydon still once a week just so I can hit that pendulum squat. So you can use that. Yeah. Kind of like the way you go to Body Academy, I'm guessing. <laughs> Man, I really wish that, like, it's a bit of a, it's a, bit of a trek for us. Yeah. But yeah, it's exactly the same. We, funny enough, I trained with my brother yesterday. We trained legs. And yeah, they've got like a swing squat and things like that. But yeah. David, it's just, again, you kind of touched on it there. It, in the Body Academy, it's kind of the mecca on the for us anyway on the east coast for bodybuilding it's amazing obviously it's got its bnbf affiliations obviously guy and guy and vicky yeah but it's like you'll be doing your workout and then you've got david k obviously just just like chilling doing some biceps bicep curls beside you and you're like yeah i should probably step this up um or you've got vicky like training away and it's like it's such a great atmosphere yeah and um, there's a, like there's a couple of guys that you know aren't i wouldn't say mainstream names but they're amazing amateur athletes that come out of the body academy and just the vibe of that place i'm sure there's gyms like this oh, yeah. you know what no there isn't there yeah. isn't anywhere like the body academy i'm going to throw that out there yeah, yeah. body academy um, is unique honestly i can tell yeah i mean i think you mentioned yourself you've been there once yeah because my client was he made british finals in 2019 so yeah we was in perth so yeah my first yeah. time down there and we literally went there the night before just to do a little pump up kind of thing I was just like, this is amazing. <laughs> Man, I, I love it. I love it. They've done so well with the with the little facility that the, the, well, the facility that they have. Yeah, it's um, not even a big space, but they've done so well with it. Yeah, hundred percent. Josh, have you got like, have you got any like guys that you know of that are going to be competing next year that are like good quality like guys that are going to you know shock some people? Like, do you next know of anyone? Year, to be honest, I don't know hundred percent because some of them you don't. Even, I don't even know if they are going to. I'm just they're just right. waiting in the wings kind of thing. Um, but I'll say hands down, my, my client who um, competed in 2019, he's going to be cu- coming back next year. I would say he's you definitely- got a name drop. You got uh, a name drop. <laughs> Lanray. Lanray is, my, is, is the guy. Um, he's very quiet on Instagram, but I know he's working. Um, and okay, okay. We're doing a proper, he's like, he's doing his first fall off season and he is blown up, like in regards to- Sweet. Um, yeah, he's one of those classic short guys who can pack on more muscle than ever if he only, yeah if he actually put you know put the work to it which he's doing it now um yeah. and yeah he he's gone again he's he's earned his stripes he did the novice 2019 last year with the whole covid thing and everything he did uk dfba finals um yeah. and he came for uh came forth in that lineup in the amateurs his first step on there so let me ask you this so Joe, if we didn't really speak about this so how did you train through the the pandemic how did oh, you? Mate, I live, and this is <laughs> for me. I look at this is where looking in your videos, I'm just like, goodness, you went all out. Like, yeah, I honestly, <laughs> I, I am so torn in regards to did I really lose or you know a, a lot during that period, or had I, did I just maintain enough? Because right. I have a feeling there are certain things that even shocked me about our competition. Um, I felt. Like, for example, my, the whole lower back thing. I usually have good erectors in the lower back showing in my back shots. It wasn't evident on the show day. And I've noticed that I think this is where the lack of some real dense, you know, it's heavy weights for density kind of didn't help. But then my legs held up a lot better than I thought because the legs has always been an issue for me since 2017. And then this just goes to show that I probably built them more than I thought because I basically maintained them enough during the lockdown yeah. and in regards to lockdown i basically just had um a dumbbell which you can make it was a 24 kg dumbbell but you right. got two sets so you can make it to 12 so you got you got two 12s or the 124 yeah. and then i had basically some bands um and again with the whole getting married and everything i never really had like a good space i could try it i could try and like you know put things together whatever like even now we're in a ups like we're in um a house share where I'm where the first floor, so it's not as like I can be putting deadlifts yeah, up feasible. here, yeah. that kind of thing. There was a period last year where during the second lockdown, I was at my in-laws for a bit, and you know, they have a bit of a garden, so that was you know, I could do a little bit more there. But yeah. I do remember because, and again, this is the whole mentality thing, 
because I was so worried about my legs, I did a lot of Bulgarian split, split squats, a lot of these lunges and everything where I'm talking like, I just, I didn't even count reps. I just did enough till I felt like they wanted to fall off. It was done, yeah. yeah. And then after that, I'll go into a superset with some crazy sissy squats or whatever, just to get that burn again. Because I knew I couldn't use the pendulum. I couldn't do the heavy weights. I couldn't do all that stuff anymore. So yeah, I was literally with that 12 kg or 24 kg using one hand or whatever, one leg at a time. I just reps, yeah. reps, 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 reps. And I think this is where on the other side though, because I couldn't deadlift, and because I couldn't really do things like um, working the glutes and that kind of stuff, I feel like my lower back took a hit there. In that to area be well. fair, mate, like I'm, I'm blown away by that because you had such a, you did have a fantastic physique, and you know, obviously, having gone through the pandemic, we all couldn't train optimally. You did the best, and you, can. you still, you still brought the heat, man. Like you obviously did something right at some stage too. Yeah. Well, this is what I'm saying. I think this is where also like I feel like I'm learning in regards to. There's so much of our physique that we might think is in that last few minutes of your off season, but actually, I, I probably had built what I brought to the table five weeks ago was probably yeah, like, since 2019. Yeah. You know that kind of thing, yeah. like that kind of thing, or 2020 before the pandemic. And I just did enough to maintain as much as I could. And again, I think the pandemic has also taught me and my clients, like you know, it actually takes a lot to lose muscle. You know, you really have to do nothing. To lose muscle yeah to, yeah that's and, that's just a really good point yeah. and, I, and, and it's not even just do some do nothing in training but also if you don't eat because you could just eat and still maintain your muscle that's the other thing i learned as well because i'm not gonna lie there were certain sessions i was like i just want to get this over with like yeah. I, i'll have the tv on at one point i think at one time i watched a batman movie trying to do a session <laughs> like <laughs> that's how much i wasn't into the session i just i was just like it's all right like, so you maybe being being thrown people around might yeah. more be I, you know, I, I was just busy you know, trying to get gains watching bane you know yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah. well, it's, it's probably what i was just i was just curious i didn't know if you were one of the guys that managed to find the magic key to the front door of the gym i, I wish i did i wish i did and i still i'm still annoyed that pure gym for all, all the money i give them rent wise they couldn't even do that for us you know? oh dude I, I always, I always joke that uh, Pure Gym looks like a dentist. Yeah, yeah. Like would have taken white, that. <laughs> white, in, white in green. I'm like, I always yeah. joke that it's like the dentist the themed gym. Yeah. Yeah. But why, no. don't, why don't you PT at like uh, Genesis or something like that? Uh, so yeah, this is the other thing. So like for me, it's just like, I've just, to be honest, it's just everything's all right with my clientele and everything right now. It's almost I like suppose, yeah. no need. Yeah, that's it right there. Um, so yeah, with them, with, it's still a good part of my business and it's only 45 minutes, you know, it's fine for now, basically. Um, mm. And it's even more than fine. It's really good. Like, and I love my clients as well. So this is there. I go ask, I go ask, mm. have you given your trophy a name yet? <laughs> I haven't given it a name yet, but. Oh, dude, that's the, that's the, that's why you win a trophy. So you can give it a name. But I think it's because it's not number one yet. That's why, mate. <laughs> ah, right, okay. Well, I think I'm going to <laughs> give, give you some, I'm going to give you some motivation. That's the trophy okay. that got away from me, mate. That's the one. Yeah, well, let's uh, see. This is it. I was like, Josh, you. This is going to be yours next year. You're going to get one of these bad boys, mate. Hundred percent, mate. I'm and getting all three next time, mate. I'm taking. I'm taking wheels and overall. I want all three. Ooh, that's I want, spicy. I want all three, mate. Honestly, my goals have gone lofty now, man. And I want to. I, that's yeah. why, you know. And you know, I'm hoping I can do next year, but we'll see, man. If I'm definitely good enough for that, then yeah, but. And because I won yeah. all three now, like I, I, I got work to do, mate. I got work. To I do. think, I think, uh, from from what I've heard from like Vicky and things like that, you've got a, you're a phenomenal bodybuilder, man. You really are. You have some like well, they always use the word potential, which I potential, I I hate the word potential, but you know they say that you, you know I can definitely see me you and you, uh, me and you going toe to toe at some stage again in the future. Hey, I'm this is why I'm ex I'm excited for this man. And as much as I was like watching the Midlands heavyweight, I was as much as like <laughs> like literally like that with my eyes. I know I was, I, was, I, was, I was also just excited because I was like, mate, like, and this is where I love where we are at because there's only one way we can go right now, you know. And, you know, I'm going to work for that. And you know, people like Theo, man, he better get his pro, pro card because <laughs> there's a lot yeah, of people going to be gunning for him if he doesn't take it this year, man. It's going to be a he's lot. The, he's, see, his most, I'm just quickly, his most muscular shot so is clean. nuts. 
it's nuts, but still clean. I don't know how he does yeah, it. Yeah, it's like he's Every, like he's like he's like this, and it just everything fits together perfectly. It's like I've, I've I've been trying to hit that most muscular all throughout the, the all throughout prep, but I just couldn't do it because like it didn't work. I had to take it out. What's your, what's your go-to pose? Like if you were to like what, what what's your number one? If you were called out, you said you've won. We need to take a couple of photos. What what pose are you t- are you doing? So and then this is the other problem with me because I still I still get torn between the two. That's the annoying thing. But my front lat spread. Okay. Although I think I need to hit it different. <laughs> now to be honest, I think I just saw a picture of you doing that. Um, because yeah, I, I, was, I, I did the whole one leg in front slightly thing, um, you know, trying to trying to get that. But I actually think when I hit it during my free free posing. Um, uh-huh. Through my free posing routine, where I didn't do that, it was even better. So I think that's the, that is my definitely my go to, my front last spread. Um, right. I think one hundred percent though, if I do bring up the arms the way I want to, my front double will, will be my best. My I literally just looked up yeah. front double on your Instagram, and I was like, I got the flow good. for it. I got the flow for it, but I still need a bit more, a bit more in the arms. Do you, do you crunch your abs when you do a front double? So or I do you don't vacuum fully, it. I don't. I don't fully. It's kind of like a semi. You right. Know what I mean, it's a bit strange, but it's like a literally a little bit of a vacuum with a bit of a crunch because I've got right. again, I've got good block ab gene- um, genetics, but also because I used to train them like crazy back in 20, like between 2014 to 2017. I literally did abs. So like mad. You, like, you just did superset crunches. Everything. Like, Leg press, I'm crunches. talking about, you know, you know, when you you try like I was trying everything. I was doing T- TRX ab stuff. I was doing you know um, like literally all the leg raises you can think about all the the, the crisscross i used to do wind swipers everything i haven't done them in years now but i used to do all that crazy stuff back then so i think that's what's helped for that but right. um to the point where like honestly i think you know when i do get fully conditioned i, I actually think i've got like an eight full eight or ten there you an know, eight pack. I, can, yeah. I, can, I can pop there um but yeah, in regards to hitting that front double, and again, this is where I'm being honest. Like, and this is where I I feel I admit, like I was still going off just that one session with Andy and with um with um Andrew and, and Steph. Yeah. Um, in regards to the posing session, and they helped me hunt, like so much last year. And next time, I'm literally going to see them like f- probably five times before the show because I feel like there's still a lot of things I need to tweak in on actually knowing how to present better. Because people forget bodybuilding is literally like people think there's perfect physiques out there. There is it. All no, you're doing is all... showing you're hiding every the, the worst. I know <laughs> that's a good way to put it out, actually. Yeah. And you talk about Theo, is... I'm pretty like he just knows. We all see the great shots, but he knows what he's making sure to hide, you know, that kind yeah. of thing, you know. Yeah, Andy's Andy's quite good. I, like I had one kind of like go-to thing that I can or opportunity I had with Andy to pose. And within that like 20 minute quick little posing tutorial, I learned so much about hand position. Yeah. Um, it's just, you know, it's crazy how someone who's been in the game at that level for so long, just spending that short amount of time with them, even Steph, sorry. Yeah. And it can revolutionize how yeah. you present yourself. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. Yeah, they're both um, both unreal. Like honestly, both unreal. Yeah. Um, but I think one thing definitely where I need that help was, and that's where, like I said, watching back now, I'll send you the videos. You need to see it. Um, I lost. That's where I lost out to you, and you took the the lead. Um, right. Was that symmetry round? The basically the first the first round. I need to sort out that pose in there. I need to see these, man. You yeah. got, you got. If you can, send me them through. But mate, I'm gonna um, literally, I'm gonna, we're gonna keep talking, but I'm gonna cut this off because like it's gonna be like two hours of a podcast. I know. I was, <laughs> I, do you know when? Do you know when it came on? I was like, dude, we gotta just make this an hour, or we're gonna go on forever. We could talk forever, mate. I can I know, tell. I, I already know. knew this was gonna happen, and there's still much, yeah, so much we haven't talked about. But we'll yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Well, let's 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 stop it there, Josh. Thank yeah. you so much. I've loved you, speaking man. to you. And by the way, you are the nicest chap in the world. Hey, you're just awesome. throw that. You really, really mate, are. You, you you need to stop complimenting about my physique, mate. You did win for a reason, all right? You honestly, ah, you killed it. You ah, honestly killed it, mate. You killed it. Was it was the crappy tan. It was the crappy tan. That's what it was. <laughs> Sick, honestly. It's good fun, mate. And honestly, looking forward to... If you're ever actually down in London again, if ever, just make sure you hit me up, buddy. All right? I would love to train me, man. I would love to. Honestly, we're going to definitely be doing a lot more battles to come, and I'm looking forward to it, honestly. I can can see it happening. I I feel like it will come up on stage as well. Like, anyway, it'll be one of them great things people can see. You know know what? It's just popped into my head. 
it's the Jay Cutler or Ronnie Coleman. Right, it's gonna be so much That's fun. A- <laughs> it's gonna be so much fun, mate. Because I'm gonna, know, I'm gonna basically, if I know I'm gonna do a show with you, I'm just gonna make sure. Not only do I bring out, like, showcase my best parts, I'm gonna try and make sure if there's anything I can beat you on. I'm gonna really emphasize it. I'm gonna do the Phil Heath because he knew he always had the best hamstrings. Ooh. He would always okay. be like showing them and check. Like, I'll probably like, I'll look at we all week part and be like, point it out. Yeah. I'll be like, I'm like, judges, you seeing this? You seeing this? <laughs> I'm getting a bit intimidated, mate. I'm getting I'm starting to sweat a little bit. Mate, it's all part of the game, mate. It's all part. It's all part of the game. Oh, but honestly, mate, it's been a pleasure. Take care, man. Thank you, dude. All right, buddy. You're just freezing the freezing.